Uh, so this would be maybe a llama. Well, if you're going to you ride, ride a llama, you need to have something. You need to have the. Do you yeah. ride llamas? I know you ride camels, but you I'm ride llamas. I'm sure that in some, in some culture, they have to ride llamas. I know. In action. Hey, welcome to Coffee with Dwayne and Jesse. I am Dwayne. You know who this is. I'm Jesse. Jesse, the slurper. You know, one of our episodes, uh, uh, our previous episodes, uh, that's going to air. Well, it'll be aired by the time they're watching this. I I think I might have referred to you as Jesse the Millennial. (laughs) I think so. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, And I was Jesse the Millennial and Dwayne Dwayne the the Gen 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 Xer. Yeah, you, you're not. I'm not a boomer. No. Are you short of a boomer? Yeah, I've, I've a got bit. a few years. A few years. Uh, yeah, a few years yeah. behind. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a Gen Xer. Hey, we're glad that you are here. So right now we are drinking our single origin blend. It's uh, it's not a blend actually. It's just a single origin bean from Brazil, Brazil Santos. Yeah, and uh, I am going to share in this uh, video. Uh, we're going to insert a little um, how I brew my coffee using this particular roast. Yeah. And so uh, yeah, I appreciate you shooting that video. We've already done that. So now we're drinking the fruits of our labor. Yeah. What do you got in your hand? Before we go any further, what is that? It's my new llama mug. Llama, llama, llama. Llama, 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 llama. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. It has this, uh, like a shawl over it or something. Uh, so this would be maybe a llama. Well, if you're going to ride a llama, you need to have something you need to have the you yeah. ride llamas. I know you ride camels, but you I'm ride llamas. sure that in some, in some culture, they have to ride llamas. I don't know. I mean, listen, if I had a llama, I would figure out every possible way to utilize said llama that I could. I mean, it'd be a guard llama, an attack llama. What sound does a llama make? But <laughs> Patui. <laughs> I think so. You okay. ever been spit on by a llama? No. Me neither. No. Yeah. I, no I know good story have. there. I, yeah. I know people who have, but they're known for it. But but you're drinking out of your... So last week, you were the number yeah. one grandma. I remember yes. that. Number one yes. grandma. What are you doing with your mugs when you're finished with them? Uh, they're just... They're going up in my cupboard. Um, I think I'm going to have to like donate them or, or maybe... I don't know. Maybe we could do something fun because my goal every week when we try... That's my new shtick, people. A different weird mug. And you, if you have a mug you want him to drink out of. Yeah. How about we do that? If you have a mug that you would like me to drink out of. We'll put the mailing address yeah, in the link put below. Yeah, the mailing address. Send it to me. Hey, maybe it's promoting your business. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you send your cool. mug with your business and, I don't know, 50 bucks <laughs> inside the... <laughs> we'll promote your business. Yes. This video was paid for. Brought by, to you by yeah, uh, Al's um, Plumbing and Heating. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I will. I am going to have to start uh, getting rid of these. So I don't Maybe I'll donate them. Maybe we'll like, maybe we'll do like a little thing where I send a random mug to a, a viewer that wants the mug. If you want, if you want this mug, if you want the llama mug, because I'll never drink from it again. <laughs> I will wash it. And I would wash it again when you get it. Yeah, wash it again when you get it, but I'll wash it and won't leave my, you know, germs on it. But then I'll, you know, I'll send it to you. And because I see I can do that. I know how to you, you know, know I, mail have, stuff? I know how to mail stuff, he right? You know, I'll mail. throw this in That's an a envelope. Talent not everybody has. Yeah, I'll yep. throw this in an envelope <laughs> for you and I'll send it out. All right. If you want the <laughs> mug, um, comment below. Yeah. If you want yeah. the mug, you have to comment below and like the video yeah. and share the video. Yeah. If you do those three things, you'll be eligible yep. for this mug. Yep. I guess we'll just do like the, so do we do, all right, so we have to work this out. We haven't worked this out yet. No, we're just making we're it just up doing, as we go, yeah. which is how so much do we, do we the, live life. Do we do the first person? No, to like because then nobody we, else will do it. Yeah. So we, we'll once have a everybody's drawing. there, we'll do a random drawing based yeah. on all of the, um, everybody who gets their entry in by, let's say, this is getting posted on Thursday. By the way, that's our new times. Yeah. Mondays and Thursdays, 6.45 p.m. So within um, four days of this posting, then yep. whoever's in that in that comments, you've, you've commented, I want the mug. That's it. I, I want, want the, the mug. mug. And then you comment 
and you share and you, and you like. Subscribe. 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 That's it. So we'll check. If you like the video, you comment. I want the mug. You subscribe, you subscribe to, the channel. to the channel. And you share the video on your Facebook page. You know, do all the stuff. Do all of it. Do all the stuff. You know, you know yeah. the things. I mean, come on. Llama mug. Right. I'll send it to you for free. You right. just got to do the four things. That's it. You do can do that. You know, do the, the thing, things. man. Do the thing. All right. So <laughs> anyway, so we'll get you a mug. All right. So inside the mug, that is the most yes. important thing. Inside yeah. the mug is our Brazil coffee. And what do you think about Brazil? Smooth. Mm-hmm. That is, this is maybe the smoothest coffee that I've ever drank. Okay. It is so black. I have nothing in it. It's just black. And it, I mean, it almost like feels, I know it's a liquid, but it feels like it melts in your mouth. I mean, you just, it just feels, it goes down so smooth. It's not bitter at all. It doesn't have a strong, you know, a strong bite or anything like that. It's just very smooth. Little notes, the flavor profile says notes of cocoa. Yeah. I can taste, I can smell it. I can taste it a little bit. A little bit, but it's when they brewed it, I could smell a little bit of the cocoa too. Now there's not really cocoa in there. No. Um, Again, uh, what we've said in previous episodes is that they, the professionals, uh, the the connoisseurs, they put these uh, flavor profiles or flavor notes. Um, This coffee reminds me of this thing. Yeah. Um, they're not really putting cocoa in there. Yeah, they're just trying to give your brain something to yeah. equate it to. And yeah. so it does have a little bit of that cocoa-ish um, reminder yeah. uh, to me uh, as far as that goes. And again, it is uh, less acidic than most yeah. coffees. Not um, acidic at all as far as I can taste. Right. I, I think it actually it tastes uh, fairly earthy. Um, yeah. But very mild. Very mild. Um, as far as that goes. Um, so... In this video, I'm including that we have, uh, I talked about how we brewed uh, the coffee and that's coming up. Matter of fact, I'm going to have you watch that video right now. And through the magic of editing, I'll pick you up on the other side. So watch how I brewed this. Hey guys, Dwayne Castle here with Coffee with Dwayne and Jesse. And uh, I thought in this episode, I would show you how I personally make some coffee with my home brew machine. Uh, so this week, uh, Jesse and I are going to uh, review our Brazil uh, coffee. It's a single origin uh, coffee, a bean from Brazil. And uh, so we've already received the uh, coffee. I had it ordered in the standard ground or standard grind. Okay, so I use about a gram of coffee per 60 milliliters of water. Now, professionals, some of them will have you actually double that. Uh, Some people might use less than that. The beautiful thing about coffee is when you're making it at home, you can make it to your own strength. This is what I found works best for me. Uh, My wife loves it. Uh, Most of my company, when they come over, they enjoy it. It's not overpowering. Uh, They get to taste the nuances of the flavors and all of those kinds of things. So um, right here, you'll see how um, I've got uh, 31.6 grams of coffee uh, in the filter. I'm just going to take the filter into the pot, and uh, there's uh, already the uh, uh, 1,866 milliliters of water in there, or about 12 cups, um, or again, 65 ounces. Press the start button, and just wait for that deliciousness to come to me. Okay, so that's how we do that. That's how we brew it. That's how we brewed it. And so... I would love to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, you know, I was talking about how uh, how many milligrams of water to how much, uh, how many grams of coffee, and all those kinds of things. What is your ratio? What's your perfect ratio? Yeah. Um, remember, uh, so I've made this out of a sample pack, and I used this one sample pack. I used half of it, basically, um, made a, this pot of coffee. And it came out just the way that I like it. And now, yeah. obviously, uh, Jesse likes it like this. But you tried once to make, uh, like, a couple of cups of coffee yeah. out of the whole packet. Yeah, so the sample packet, right? If you guys haven't been watching or haven't kind of picked up, I just kind of really started drinking coffee in a way to enjoy it. I've drank coffee from chain stores just for the effect, you know, kind of on and off for a couple of years. Um, but I didn't really have any clue on how to brew it. So when I ordered the sample pack, 
Um, I just took, you know, and they come in these little bags. I just dumped the whole bag in the, uh, into the coffee maker. And our coffee maker is not a big coffee maker. It's not a 12 we, cup. It's not a 12 cup. I mean, it's a little, I think a five cup. Okay. Whew. It was strong. It was disgusting. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> right. I drank it. And I was like, oh, this is. We're this selling this. We're selling this <laughs> stuff. This is terrible. Um, and then Dwayne taught me <laughs> how to measure out the coffee. And now, because of that, actually, my wife, Savannah, who's never liked coffee, she now drinks coffee because it's brewed the right way. Um, and, yeah, when you brew I mean, when you brew it like this, yeah. this, this is some good coffee. I do like my coffee. I do like my coffee. I do like my coffee.com. Hey, so um, that actually, I had a, I had mentioned it in that little video clip that we just showed, how uh, the beauty about making coffee at home is you get to experiment. Yeah. You know, uh, so one of our uh, upcoming episodes, uh, maybe the next few weeks, uh, I just got this brand new espresso machine. Yeah. And so there's a lot of debate in the coffee community about what is a cup of coffee. Like in some yeah. places, it's four ounces. In some, it's two. Some, it's six. Who really knows? I don't think it matters. Yeah. What, what really matters is what do you like? So if you make your espresso and it was too weak for you, you add more. If you make your coffee and it was too strong for you, you add a little bit of less. You add more yeah. water or less coffee and you balance it out to get it the way that you yeah. want. Yeah, and I think, I think it's um, you, when you measure it out, Right when you when you know, hey, this is how many milliliters of water I'm using, and you measure it out, and then you taste it, and you don't like it, mm -hmm. then it gives you a good barometer on what you need to change. Yeah, you have a it's, starting spot. Yeah, you're it's, you're not just going, oh, I don't like this coffee. It's like, oh, that was really strong. Maybe I need to have less coffee per the the number of milligrams of water. Right, and so it's just you're it, it's adding some kind of consistency to your coffee making. Well, and that's the biggest thing right yeah. there is consistency. Um, w most of the time people start making uh, coffee and you're just going to use, you know, I put this much water in and I add two scoops, whatever. Well, those two scoops, are they leveled scoops? Are they rounded scoops? Um, those two scoops, you can vary as much as, you know, 50% uh, yeah. of coffee. You can have more or less coffee in that. And so you don't have a consistent cup of coffee. And that's why one time you'll drink it and hey, I really like this. And the next time you're like, oh, that's really weak. Yeah. That's because you had too much water or not enough coffee because you didn't have a set way of doing it. So I like the idea of having the scale. You saw that scale in the video. Um, that particular model, uh, it actually lets you do it in uh, milligrams, milliliters, yeah. ounces, um, and that kind of thing. And so uh, that I think it was 1800 and some milliliters of water. Uh, turned into be like 65 point something ounces of coffee. That's a lot of coffee, but there's two of us uh, drinking that. And uh, that is a lot of coffee to be drinking. This yeah. Is my second pot, actually. By, by the last episode that we filmed today, I'm going to be like jittering at the table. So. You know, there are people who can drink coffee, like strong coffee, yeah. before they go to bed and it not affect them. Weird. I can't drink <laughs> coffee after like four o'clock. I will not sleep yeah. at night. I don't know how you are. Um, I'm kind of in the, in the, in between, I could drink coffee at five o'clock and go to bed at 10. Okay. I mean, I, I could, um, not the, not the breakfast blend plus no. with Robusta. Robusta, Robusta. Um, but, but yeah, I could, I can drink coffee in the afternoon and be okay. All right. But Hey, well, you one, more, one more plug. Okay. Just for the mug. Yeah. Just remember if you want this beautiful mug sent to you for free, not in an envelope, in a box protected, wrapped up in bubble wrap. Right. Like the video, make sure you're subscribed, mm -hmm. share the video, mm -hmm. and comment, I want the mug. Hashtag llama. Hashtag llama. We might do this as a regular thing. I think we should. I don't want a ton of mugs in my cupboards. Uh, your wife doesn't want a ton of exactly. mugs. Exactly. <laughs> Mama in your wants, cupboards. Get rid of does. the llama mug. Yep. And maybe yep. the number one grandma mug. I drank out of that yesterday. <laughs> Did you? Actually, okay, yep. well, never mind. keep the grandma the mug. Table. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks so much. Hey, this has been Coffee with Dwayne and Jesse. I'm Dwayne. I'm Jesse. Be well. Do good. Drink, drink good, good coffee. coffee.